Okay, I hope you guys are all being blessed. Welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome to the red carpet bed. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you guys. But NT who? It's going to get a little bit dark. I hope you guys are getting along with your endeavors. You're being blessed at everything that you're trying to pursue and do along the way. Guys, y'all need to give me feedback because if y'all do, I can start doing some lives, okay? Tonight, I um, made an outfit. I'm going to show y'all all the what I did, what I cut up the residue of it and da 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 tomorrow I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna show y'all how I made it so y'all can look thirty dollars twenty dollars twenty thirty dollar outfit with the top and the bottom I'm gonna show y'all how y'all can make y'all a quick little get up get you some boots or something and a hat, throw you on a hat, some boots or something. And you know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? We're not, we're natural. You know what I'm saying? It's nice to spend money on material things that's name brand and da-da-da-da-da. But I'm a natural person. I come from the ground up, the bottom up. And I cherish every little thing. Every small thing, every, and I take pride in building myself. So, guys, Divine Film is on this level where she's saying, um, she's laughing right now at all that she have been through and came through. The one, the the chosen ones that are vib vibing on the same vibration I am. They have had a awakening, man, and like we were so lost for so long, and I'm so glad to see the growth, and I don't care. Most of the time, you can tell when someone is just, you know, just pulling your leg, and you can tell or whatever the difference of you know, like these younger people, they're coming and getting knowledge from us older ones and they're going and speaking it on their platform or in their music, on movies, da 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 and our stories and so forth. Don't ever get it twisted because if you're not showing no love or whatever, like that could be your pitfall or whatever. So y'all need to be showing love. Y'all need to be giving people recognition, all that, don't do that. Even if you are taking it from, you know what I'm saying? This is a stick, you know, if more black people stuck together, it would be so much easier for us, but we don't. We'd be against each other over here with other races. And while, you know what I'm saying? They're not thinking or being too fond of us. And I don't mean to sound like a racist because guess what? I got mixed breed all in and throughout my family. My daughter is mixed. My grandson is mixed. My, and I love them because that's, that's before I got along the wrong road path and da, 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 da. When I was younger, I was more attracted to like, you know, other races or something like that. I was more attracted to mixed breeds and, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, always saying like, mm, my daughter, my son, my kids are going to be mixed or whatever. And I don't know at the time those um I don't know if I had built up uh, like because of so seeing so much of it around me 
um, how, because I knew of the difference that, you know, other races and how they used to treat me for my skin color. So it make you feel inadequate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it make people feel that they need to be someone that they're not, which they're, that's not true. You just need to be who God wants you to be or whatever. If that's their ugly, their ugly way of showing you who they are, because the first thing first, they look at your skin color and judge you like, I'm not playing no games. Like I have people to do that to my kids and I go off and they know it. And then they come correct. Don't do me in my, we're all the same. Don't treat me and my kids like that, period. Whatever, you know, ever color we are, whatever color, ever color, whatever we are, treat us all the same, period. You know, and it's so much of that going on and people try to ignore it to, it makes me sick to my stomach like I've had it happen so much that it just make me sick I just want to throw up on someone every time they do it just ugh. like it make me sick to my stomach I can't believe you're doing that because you know what you're doing and you're looking at other people because they're darker with their skin tone like I don't know all parts of my body even and it's starting to cool off now, and I'm so happy. My legs and under my shirts and even my face used to be lighter or whatever. And then my hands and my face got dark brown or whatever. Like, I used to be a lighter brown than what I, like, the color of my legs and stuff. But in the wintertime, I'll lighten back up. But in the summertime, I could get crispy. Like, I'm not saying it in an ugly way, like, like dark, like the sun, like burn me, like, and if you think, but it's good sometimes to be in the sun and sometimes it isn't because some people can get sunburned and things can happen. I'm not going to tell y'all that twice, but I've had it happen so often to where higher, lighter people, even women have always thought that they receive some type of gold medal or something. I don't know what's the problem with that, but I'm just like, girl, we're all the same. So I would just be sitting back looking at them like, if you know I knew what you were doing and you really look foolish, like you would stop, really. Because it's not cute. You supposed to love people equally and love them unconditionally and so forth and don't try to make yourself feel as though you're better because you're not mm -hmm. no matter the colors either no one's better than no one god I see everyone is equal and i don't care about the slave whatever our ancestors they looked at us, that popped off a long time ago. It was, and I believe to my soul, it was a color thing. Like the darker black they were, they wanted to slaughter you. And that's so sickening. Oh my God. Why? Everyone is human. Like we're supposed to love each other. And mm -mm, I can't do it. I can't. But. I'm going to leave that alone because I love all of you guys that are subscribed to me. No matter your color, don't ever think that I feel no different because I don't treat no one like that. Even no one. They can never tell you they got prejudice from me when they weren't around me here. And they were a different color if they was around me and my family. Never treat them just like they're the same as all of us and so but divine film is like she's laughing like at everyone around her she sees 
feed through everything that people are trying to do. And she's just sitting back, like, laughing, like, and she's starting to laugh at them, like, you're so funny. Like, you thought I was stupid or what? Like, do what you do, but don't implicate me in it. I'm not accepting third parties. I'm not accepting you belittling me. I'm not accepting you degrading me. I'm not accepting you treating me less than. I'm not accepting you putting people before me. I'm not accepting your friends. You not being a man and you allowing your friends to choose for you. I'm not accepting that. If you, you got that type of energy and you're allowing that, then you are not a man in my eyes and you need to move around. And if you are a cheater, we're beyond done. We're not even going, we're not going past go or anything. This new karmic masculine or whatever, he got to be narcissistic. Like this person could be older than you, but act as a child. And they're sneaking around and cheating around and trying to be with younger people or whatever, because you called them out and you called them old or something like that. But they deal with another older like person that they're getting money from or something as such that they've been dealing with for a little while that they work with or something or that they could have been friends or something of that nature. I don't know, but it's sickening and you don't have time for it. And what people fail to realize, they are getting tangled up with these karmics and like women, men are evil and they're sickening as well. And like, especially when they're not living in their truth and they may be on the down low, they could be the most conniving, manipulating, deceptive, oh my God, like reprobated ass person you would ever want to meet. And for the women, women are evil, envy, jealous, and like they will go to no measurements to bring another woman down. And sometimes it be just all over a man. And that is the most sickest thing I could ever conjure up in my mind. That's why I, you know, I felt that my ex-husband was my property. It wasn't no, I was no side piece. None of that. Whoever was messing with him was the side piece. And, you know, I could have been messing with other guys when I was younger and didn't know no better. And I could have been being the other person. But I don't play that. I don't. I don't. Like, I don't have time to be dealing with all these people's spirits and ungodly soul ties and all this stuff. He going over there and messing with her because this person is never going to fully love you as they should or they could or anything as such. If you are messing with over one person and you're messing with two people, your emotions are always going to be wavering. You're not going to know if you're going or coming. You're not going to know how you feel. You're not going to know if you love this person or that person and Oh my God, it's just going to be a mess. And, you know, anyone that can't be satisfied with just one person really got some issues and you really need to let them go. Like, let them go and let them go find themselves. And as hard as it is to say that and, you know, for me to speak that and think that some people, when they're on a low vibration, that they're going to accept that. Because when you're feeling... Feelings are in, involved and you feel that you love someone, you're not accepting no for an answer. You are not. You're going to be going and going and going until you bump into that brick wall. And eventually, once you know that you can't make, get through the wall, you're going to eventually go crazy and you're going to bust the wall down. You know what I'm saying? Trying to just trying to get through all of the mental. anguish that's going to come you will bust down that wall but it's not going to be in a good way like it's going to take some power and you're going to be by that time you're going to be at your ends and so 
I'm just stating <clears throat> Divine Films are looking like <clears throat> I'm not accepting this. Don't try to come with me, come to me with this. I'm not I'm not your dollar store. <coughs> Someone don't want me. To <coughs> Every <time. coughs> Someone don't want me to talk. But you're like, you don't want to be in, and it's like you and the same old people, like, I figured out or whatever, like, it was a younger girl, too, and a younger guy. And in the past, you know, after my ex-husband did what he did and I went on about my business, and I was kind of seeing this other person. And come to find out he was tied up, this other person was tied up with this girl that... Uh, um, if you're not healed, Lord, it will lead you to further dark places. And I just don't know what to say right now, but that divine film is in a space in a place of where she's balanced and she's checking her list and she's checking it twice and she's looking at everyone and everything around her. And this new karmic masculine, because he got to be karmic because he trying to get at you like in an ugly way. And when you first met him, he was like kind of like aggressive or whatever. Like, nevertheless, I don't like, I'm not saying I'm attracted to thug men that's just from the streets and on a low vibration that... Code with a lot of issues that you got to help them heal from in order for them to be right for you. I'm not talking about that. I'm not attracted to someone like that, but I like for a masculine to take charge. Like, tell me, you know what I'm saying? But also let me have my own voice to help you as well and to help myself. You know, don't just think that you can bogart me or be possessive or tell me what I need to do or how I need to do it. Or when you get mad, you want to go. I don't like these weak ass masculines or whatever they want when they get mad at you. Like they can't even hold their own. You know what I'm saying? They want to go pick up someone else and go have one night stands and all this stuff, girl, I don't have time. If I see that you're doing that, I'm out of there. Like, I will jet off and never speak to you again. And that's just period. And Divine Film, that's where she's at right now. Like, she's not taking, she is jabbing and sticking, like, and moving. Like, move out my way or I will move you out my way with this bullshit. Like, we, we're not playing those kind of games. And so, Devon Film, she's laughing at everything that the Cormics are doing. Like, to try to make her feel some type of way or send her illusions. Like, she's just, she don't have time for it. And, you know, if this Cormic Divine Masculine, if he is with someone or married to someone or whatever, whatever, what not, she is not having it. Like, mm -mm. like I'm going to come back with some more stories because this is real live truth or whatever. And if you don't watch it, you can get yourself tangled up in these card readings to where it keep game running going on. That's not true. And it's not true on your part, their part, none of that. Like, they be picking up your energy, but it be surface-based. Like, it don't be the real deal because no one can, 
no one knows this stuff. Like it could change within a blink of an eye. Like you could, it could be a feeling that you're feeling and then go away. And it could be just a thought and then go away and they could pick it up and like it will have you going in circles and y'all got to be careful with that. And, you know, no one have told me anything that I didn't want to hear. I don't care, basically. And that's how the divine films that have really been healing and they're elevated. That's how they're feeling. Like, I don't care. I don't care about no distorted masculine, no karmic masculine, no karmics. I don't care if they're in a connection with a karmic. Uh, I don't care if they're not trying to leave the karmic. I don't care if it's a karmic with benefits. I don't care if they're mad. I don't care. These divine fans that's been healing or whatever, they're just like, I don't care what is going on with what is pulling up in these. Really? I don't care what's pulling up in these cards, how people are moving what they are doing, I'm worried about me. I don't care who's doing who or how they doing it, where they doing it, when they doing it, where they, you know, she's just like, she don't care about any of it. And it's not even mattering to her, a matter to her as of this present moment. So that's where we're at, guys. If you guys don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. But to stay tuned in, I will be back. Bye.